Assalamu alaikum guys. In this video, we will learn how to validate a complex array like this. Actually, I found uh, this interesting case in this comment. And now I want to learn or teach you how can we gonna validate this. As you can see here, I have sent a uh, products and it's an array of uh, products here contains one element and each product in this array contains ID of product and may contain colors here. If you noticed colors also is an array contains name, for example, red and this red has multiple sizes also sizes here, array with name and the quantity. As you can see, product ID number one has these colors with these sizes. Also, let's add another uh, product here, copy and paste, right? And instead of one, it will be two, maybe a pink, right? And it will only has one size, right? And let's keep blue with medium like this also. Here, like this, as you can see. So first of all, I have created this uh, validation uh, class form request, and I'm using it inside my controller once it's Success at return success message. So let's start here in my validation uh, rules. I have created the first step, which is products must be an array. So if I back here and send request JSON and send, as you can see, product is, is required. It's okay. I will create it step by step products and I will send it here as an array, right? Send and must contains some fields so I will say here for example name and send now success but our structure is here it must contains ID each product so I will back and say here a uh, products here products and each element using asterisk must contain ID and ID is required and it must be integer if you have product stable in your database you must add here exists products id must exist inside product stable in id column so back again here and send it again now the product id number one must contain id okay i will provide it id will be one let's specify it here it must be objects by the way array of objects right here and send the request again, it's success. Step number two, we must validate that each product must has array of colors, as you can see. So back again, and I will say here, products dot each element must has colors, right? I will add comma here, and I will say it's required. And if you noticed here, it must be an array right array of colors make again and i will say it must be an array back to our endpoint send request failed so here i will say colors and array of objects let's modify it send and it's success and we must validate also each colors must has a name right as you can see here colors array of objects here's the first colors the first color properties the second the color properties so i will say it must contain name so i will back here and i will say it's commit colors dot any index or any element inside colors must contain name field and it must be string right back send the request again as you can see here, the colors, first element must contain name, okay? I will say name, red, send request, success. Now let's validate sizes inside colors. So I will say each color must contain a size, right? Or a array of sizes. And also, as you can see here, each size must contain name and the quantity. So back again here, and I will say 
let's duplicate it inside each color after this asterisk each color must has sizes and it must be an array back again send our request and here let's remove this comma and as you can see here colors in element id number one for the product first product here must contain sizes okay i will back and i will say here in our endpoint sizes and array send also field so i will say empty array of objects send success now let's validate that each size must contain name and quantity back again here i will copy it here and i will say inside each size here dot name must be required and string and also must contain quantity and it must be integer or any number you want and minimum one okay back again send our request as you can see here the first size object this object here must contain name and the quantity so i would say here name size small and quantity here 10 send our request quantity here send and it's success very simple and it just need first to uh, get a real example of what will you receive and validate it easily now let's copy all of this example here and let's try to use it in our endpoint so i will copy paste here send and it's success easily whatever a data we have but if you notice here for example i will make an error for this size and send request and if you notice this long error message is some of annoying if you want to change it inside attributes method instead of displaying this long key here like this we can say here size name right back send request again as you can see here the size name let's make it also for the quantity we can see here size quantity right send it again and as you can see the size name is required this quantity is required it changes the a key of validation right what if for example we want to say it's okay the size is not required and it must be sometimes maybe sometimes and now i will say instead of required it's required with this uh, product size here so copy paste it will be validated only in case of the sizes uh, provided or object provided so back again here send our request still works if i uh, remove it or even completely remove the sizes from here i will remove this comma also send the request and it works successfully right but if i provide it size here size array of objects send now it throws error that the size name and the quantity is required here is a simple way of how to validate complex nested array if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe if you have any problem you can write it in comments and we can discuss it in the video see you in next videos